in order to replace the switch, the best thing to do is to remove it from its hole um, and, and, then, uh, and then replace it. Um, so here's a window switch that's been removed. Uh, you can see the silver tabs. That's, um, that's how it grabs and clips into the door panel. Uh, this backside here is beat up a little bit because you actually can remove one of these switches uh, using a trim tool around the outer upper flange and working carefully. You can get one of these guys to pry out of the door. The problem is that the connector that connects to the back has got a very short length of uh, cable and it actually won't come up out of the door panel. Um, what I did is I had a small gap, probably half an inch or so. Uh, I could stick this little tool in there and I caught a hold of the, the latch on the connector, depressed it, and while pulling on the switch, I was it get it, I got it to come free. Uh, and then the switch was out, but then realized that while the new switch would pop right in the hole without removing the door panel, wouldn't be able to attach the connector to the back. Uh, so removing the door panel uh, was necessary. I made a video on how to do that. Don't be afraid of that job. It's easy to do. Um, wish I would have done it before I uh, mangled up the switch getting it out. Uh, so check out that video. All right, so here's what the back of that door panel looks like if you're curious. And so I've installed the new switch. And so you see it here and I've got a tab here. This is just going to slide in and pop right into place. Nice. Um, and then now my switch is installed. So it's dropped in from the front, plug it in from the back. All right, so here's the new switch installed in the door. Uh, you can see what just looks like normal. Um, this is where I was saying kind of along this edge, you could put a trim tool in there. And if you work at it enough, being careful, you can get the switch to kind of halfway come out, but I wouldn't recommend it. It was a hassle and you need to take a door panel off to reinstall the connector anyway. So might as well just do it right.